Well, greetings, humble boys, girls, and of course, gifted animals. How are you today? I'm well. How are you, Spice Peanut? He's doing very well, too. I'm doing great. What are we doing today? Um, this is a interesting one. Um, so, Mrs. Carl and uh, your humblest of uncles uh, went to the grocer. What was it, the other day? Yeah. On a Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Sunday or Monday. And, uh, well, we found something that uh, seems to be somewhat popular and new, uh, which is the Coca-Cola Starlight flavor. So there's two versions. There's a zero version, and then there's a regular version. I personally, just full disclaimer, uh, do not typically drink sugared sodas. Um, just not a fan of the high fructose corn syrupy type of mouthfeel. Um, I much prefer like a Mexican Coke with pure cane sugar. I'm just very particular with my, my beverages. Um, but these are space flavored. Starlight. Yeah, Starlight. Says, he does not like that. Uh, space flavored. So we're gonna open up the regular one first, if that's all right. Ooh, what's that noise? got kind of a like a reddish hue to it also just wanted to make a few comments before we jump right in typically whenever they make a uh new flavor they typically don't make it in a zero um that's true outlet i guess if, if that is true. you know and also it's everywhere so they're really hedging their bets that this is going to sell so i'm curious um there's no disclaimer of what starlight tastes like space okay okay Oh, space flavored. Okay, it does. Smell it. Yeah. It's a pinkish hue. Interesting. It's a pinkish reddish hue. What do you think that smells like? Cherryish. Almost. I would say that's a. It's not quite cherry. Um, I'm just gonna give it a swig. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. To be fair, I saw somebody review this and I had a thought. Oh, you did? Wow. Oh, that's easy. Cotton candy. I disagree. What is it? I was going to say chocolate covered uh, cherry. What? It's very chocolatey. I disagree. The after notes taste just like chocolate. I can see that. But there's something else. Cotton candy. Um, our humblest review bras, um, it probably doesn't even remember, um, me, uh, but report of the week said it tastes like cotton candy and I tend to agree. I think this really does taste like cotton candy. I'm getting a lot of chocolate notes. I can say you think that at the end, I think it's more of a cola flavor, frankly, towards the end, but that mouthfeel at the end is very cotton candy. I'm going to say chocolate covered strawberry. Okay. So let's try the zero, zero sugar. See, see Usually the zero in terms of flavor is not as good in my opinion, but uh, still the same kind of hue, a pinkish. It's a little darker, do you think? I don't think it's coming through on the camera. Mm, not very well. No, I mean I actually think it's a little bit lighter. Hmm. What do you think, Peanut? It just smells good. Yes, it does. I don't like the taste of the aspartame-ish flavor, so we are very polar opposites on this. Off the bat, it smells a lot different. You think so? Absolutely. I think it tastes like, uh, not taste. Um, it smells slightly different, but not enough to make note of it personally. It's not as strong. Um, it does still have a little bit more it has a lighter cocoa flavor. I, agree. I, I think this is more of a cola with a hint of that flavor, whatever it is. Again, I, I get an overwhelming cotton candy hey. taste. I don't know. Again, the aspartame kind of just drowns it out for me. But there's still notes of cocoa. Um... I see what you mean at the end there. There's almost like a little bitterness. Like a like a chocolatey like a dark chocolatey kind of bitterness, you know. 
but in the beginning it's heavily sweet I it mean, is very it's, sweet it's, it's like even the, the the zero sugar one has this punchy in the face kind of sweetness that i feel like is um excuse me would you say it's kind of like the um marshmallows and lucky charms yeah yeah marshmallow i bet chocolate marshmallow 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 in the front chocolate in the back yeah That's but not not say. a traditional marshmallow more the lucky charm variant where it's yeah, I agree. fruity um in a way that's really accurate. I think that's probably the best description. Um, so it's it's kind of artificial, you know? It doesn't taste like a marshmallow that you just got out of, you know, a bag, a jet puffed bag. I feel like all marshmallows feel artificial. Maybe and then like, you know, the texture of the marshmallow that comes in a cereal opposed to like a bag. The powdery kind of version that are yeah. a little bit crunchier. The, the, I think that that kind of is, Close, meringue but, if you will yeah something similar mm -hmm. honestly i don't think that's far off um as a second test just to fully validate we're gonna mix it with some old forester okay just got a half finger full here a little half finger full uh, should I do the, let's do the regular one. I feel like that was bolder. It was a lot more. Yeah, I feel like the Zero one is not as bold as the high octane one. Excuse the uh, belch. Um, it's, a, it's a very carbonated drink. It got me too. Okay. Let me get a little bit more. You'll see here a little bit more of the color. There you go. Yeah, kind of like wine-ish almost. Yeah. I mean, mix that with brown liquor. I mean, you can see it's uh, kind of got a red hue, a pinkish hue. Does okay. it mix? I'm good. Hold on. After tasting in this, I stand further behind the cocoa marshmallow oh. flavor, like the marshmallow um, uh, flavor that's found in you know a fruity cereal. Interestingly enough, hmm. it's much more prominent. Like that flavor is much more prominent. It does not mix well. Full disclosure. Spice peanut degrees, so. What do you rate it? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think it would be my go-to drink. I think it's good for just a little taste test, something new. Um, I don't know. It's not my favorite thing ever. Um, I'd just say like a 6.5523. Yeah, there's no price difference, by the way. We failed to mention that. Mm. Cost just the same as regular Coca-Cola, so. Um... I like it, but I agree with Mrs. Carl here. I would much rather have like a cherry Coke Zero or a, because that would be my go-to, or just a regular Coke Zero or Zero Sugar, whatever they call it these days. Um, I'd rather just have a regular one opposed, or one of the classics with the cherry, um, opposed to uh, this new variant. Um, it's good, just... It's very sweet. Um, it just punches you a little bit. It, it's, just the, it's almost on the level, I don't know if... Y'all have ever had the like Red Barks cream soda? It's almost on the level of that kind of sugar, which is good, but it's kind of like you really got to be in the mood for it. That's why I think cotton candy probably came to mind first. But anyway, what do we rate it? Um, what was your rating? I didn't say yet. I think that in totality, I'm not going to rate them separately. I think. I, I want to just say the overall, because the, the difference between the zero and the non is just the same as it would be, I would argue, between like a regular Coke and a, and, and a zero Coke. So it's, you know, you have to take those things in stride, you know, as they're going to be different flavors uh, slightly. However, I would say overall, it's okay. Um, it's a solid 5.5. 
Five point nine two. What did I say? Six point five. Something like that. Um. Yeah. That's good. Anyway, God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care. Till next time.